uh, the president support a commission to investigate the initial U.S. response to COVID-19? Uh, a commission in Congress? Or a presidential commission? I would say if members of Congress have a discussion and want to have a discussion about that, we're happy to hear from them. Um, but our focus uh, right now, as you know, uh, Peter, is on our own internal investigation, or our internal process, I should say, using all of the resources of government, tapping into our data and science experts to see uh, what more uh, we can uh, determine uh, over the next 90 days or less than 90 days about the origins of, uh, of the pandemic. Mike Pompeo is now saying that when he was the Secretary of State and he was trying to investigate the origins of COVID-19 there. The NIH folks were trying to suppress what he was doing. So is there any concern from the White House that there may have been people at the NIH who are making policy decisions based not in science, but based on their personal political beliefs or preferences? Well, I, I really don't have any analysis of the last administration's interworking. still over there, and you see how they operate. Uh, here's what we know, Peter. We know that Dr. Fauci uh, and many members of the NIH team, medical and science experts, because of their work over the last 10 years, we have developed uh, a, a focus and effort and apparatus to fight this pandemic, um, and we are grateful to them for their work. Everybody wants to get to the bottom of the origin. Former Secretary Pompeo, President Biden, Democrats and Republicans across the board. We all share a concern about the challenge, and that is the intransigence at times by the Chinese in providing data and providing information. We share agreement on that. We all want to get to the bottom of what happened here. And you mentioned Dr. Fauci. There have been these emails that have come out through a FOIA request that uh, make it seem like uh, we knew that he had his hands full at the time trying to figure out what to do. But it seems like there were times that he was saying one thing in email and then coming to this microphone and saying something else. If that is the case, and if that affected the U.S. policy posture at the time, should he be held accountable? Well, I've talked a little bit about Dr. Fauci, and Dr. Fauci has been out doing several interviews himself and answering questions on these emails and uh, questions that you all may have. Dr. Fauci is a renowned public servant, uh, civil servant, I should say, career civil servant. Uh, he's overseen management of multiple global health crises, and the attacks and 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 attacks launched on him are certainly something we wouldn't stand by. Uh, I understand there's interest in the emails. He's answered a lot of questions on the emails. I don't think I'm going to have much more to add on them from here. Do you think the attacks are political against Dr. Fauci? I, I'm going to let Dr. Fauci speak to his own defense of his emails from 17 months ago before this president even took office. Okay, and then uh, finally, does President Biden have a position on gain of function research? Uh, well, we have not, um, as Dr. Fauci has actually said repeatedly, uh, we've never approved any funding for gain of function research in Wuhan. I know that's, I think, why you're asking the question. Uh, I believe some may have been approved, or there was funding approved during the prior administration. There's a framework, I should say. This is not meant to be a criticism of funding and how it's approved through different NIH programs, but I would send you to them to give more of a, an explanation of the funding mechanism.